Good morning, and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. This morning's Gospel lesson is taken from St. Mark, chapter 10, verses 24 through 32, and has a promise and a warning. Let's hear what our Lord has to say. And the disciples were astonished at his words. But Jesus answered again and said to them, Children, how hard it is for those who trust in riches to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. And they were greatly astonished, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said, With men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. Then Peter began to say to him, See, we have left all. And followed you. So Jesus answered and said, Assuredly I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospels, who shall not receive a hundredfold now in this time, houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions, and in the age to come eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. Now they were on the road going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus was going before them, and they were amazed, and as they followed they were afraid. Then he took the twelve aside again and began to tell them the things that would happen to him. The Word of God We start today's Gospel with Christ's summation of yesterday's Gospel, when he says, Children, how hard it is for those who trust in riches to enter the kingdom of God. Peter responds by saying, See, we have left all and followed you. Jesus is quick to respond by telling us that for everything we renounce for his sake and his gospel, we will be abundantly rewarded, not only in this world, but in the age to come with eternal life. Oh, there will be persecutions along the way, but they are a small matter when stacked up against the reward of eternal life in the kingdom of God. Amen. Well, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow. And may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto God.